Trey. Well, hi everybody. I'm TK Amato with Trey Coffee. I want to say a huge thank you to Olukai for having us on there. Anywhere Aloha Fridays. Uh, today I'm hopefully going to help you brew a better cup of coffee. Give you a little scoop about what Trey Coffee is all about. Alright, one of the first tips I can give you is pre-wetting your filters. This gets rid of the paper taste in your coffee as well as warms up your vessel so there's not a loss of heat while brewing. And then up next, I'm going to be measuring out some coffees. I'll give you guys my little 8 ounce recipe. It's going to be 20 grams of coffee to 350 grams of water. I first got into coffee back in college. My sister needed help at one of the coffee shops she was managing. And I ended up working for her. And that's been pretty much my whole life since then. So one of the things that we like to do at Try Coffee is give you guys an opportunity to try coffee. We source coffees from roasters all around the world. Uh, Korea, Canada, Denmark, as well as here. Uh, the coffee I'm brewing today, it's going to be from Paradise. They have a little roaster in Hilo where they try to perfect their Hawaiian grown coffees. Today we're brewing a um, uh, SL34 variety. It's a pea berry, so it's a special variety of this variety, and it's from the Ulubehi Farms. So one of the next things to help you brew a good cup of coffee is finding the right grind size. Uh, this takes a little time. We're going to do a little bit of notes. I'll kind of help you through it. I already have my preferred grind size. This is going to be a little bit close to table salt. Hard to tell through the camera, but you know, use your imagination. I'll give you one way to figure out if your coffee's a little too coarse or too fine. And that's going to be with the end taste result. If your coffee's tasting very dry, very bitter, you're getting a lot of like a heavy mouthfeel, chances are your coffee's going to be a little too fine. Go ahead and coarsen up your grind a little and you'll have a more balanced, clean cup. And if it's the opposite, and if it's too tea-like, too watery, your coffee's too coarse. The water's flowing way too fast through it. It's a very delicate coffee, so I'm not going too high. I'm not using boiling water, but hot enough to extract all the good stuff in it. I'll let it bloom for a little bit. The bloom is just adding a little bit of water to get that initial chemical reaction coffee has of water to get started. Um, I'll give it about 30 seconds before I'll start adding more water. And the main reason to do this is coffee creates a lot of gases. As you can see all the bubbles happening here. If you just add all the water right away, a lot of the water is going to bypass the coffee because of the gases repelling from it. So you want to give it a good enough time, contact time so the coffee will get that full extraction. I prefer pouring with a very slow flow rate. Um, as you can see with this kettle, my water stream is almost vertical. This is a good indication of a very slow flow rate. On the off chance you pour it poorly and you have coffee grounds stuck on the side you can do a little swirl and still get some of the coffee off the sides without adding too much agitation uh, you don't want to add too much agitation because while you're pouring it's causing a slurry and it's already agitating the coffee um, some coffees you do want to add agitation so every now and then I'll throw in an extra stir for my recipes this will be kind of something you'll have to do like a judgment call. If your coffee's tasting too weak, one trick could be adding a little agitation towards the end. If it's too strong, try to slow down the pour rate, the flow rate. So with this coffee, I aim for about a three minute brew time. It's a little on the quicker side, but the origami really extracts coffee nicely. So the origami dripper is one of my favorite pour over drippers. Uh, right now I do carry two different sizes. I have the ceramic in a medium size and the acrylic in a smaller size. Um, 
It's a cone-shaped brewer, so you can kind of see its shape here. It's super pretty, but it also allows a lot of um, a faster flow rate while extracting coffees with some bypass on the side. My favorite thing about Tri Coffee is the big Tim deliveries. This is my Suzuki Carry RC truck. It's an imitation of my truck in a parking garage you guys might have seen on the way in. Alright guys, thanks for joining us. Um, feel free to DM me any questions about coffee at Tri Coffee HI or the truck. Um, another huge thank you to Kai for having me on Anywhere Aloha Fridays. Shoots. <laughs>